Hey, Tiger fans, it's Mark Fitzpatrick with Tiger Club of Kansas City. It is Tuesday, September 5th at the Westport Flea Market today. Very honored today. Our guest is legendary Mizzou football coach, member of the College Football Hall of Fame, Gary Pinko. Gary, thanks for coming over today. Glad to be here. I, you know, it's, I mean, these people are so nice to me, and uh, they love Mizzou, and it's neat to see such a turnout. Uh, you talked a lot today about a lot of things have changed since your coaching days. NIL, transfer rule. I guess it's really an open-ended question. Where's this all going to end? I don't know. I mean, we're, we're kind of all looking at this stuff right now. And, and uh, you know, I think the NCAA or somebody's going to have to get together to see if they just we just get some fairness here, you know, and, uh, you know, see how it falls right now. So no one really knows. And, uh, you know, they want to. I think they're going to get a playoff system. They want to get going. There's a lot of things that you hear they're trying to do. But uh, we'll wait and see where it goes. When you talk to former or coaches that you know that are still in the business, do they ever say, like, I wish that we had the good old days back? Yeah, I've heard that a lot. Actually, I heard that in the news for some prominent basketball and football coaches after the, after the weekend. You know, just kind of, you know, if you're hearing all these stories now, they don't really hear much of what's going on. And, uh, you know, hopefully in a, in a I thought, in a five-year period, we could kind of clean it up and make it a little more responsible, make it work a little bit more efficiently, and be fair. There's nothing wrong with sports being fair. The NFL, the franchise, they're the same fairness for every team. Nobody gets an edge. And if people don't like me saying it, then don't be around me. The head coach these days is really more of a CEO than gets the day-to-day to diagram the play. Is that, is that a fair assessment? Well, I'm certainly it's another it's another area that now you're – you got some different responsibilities, yeah. and you got to make decisions, and you got to talk to people or alumni to help money financially and all this stuff. So yeah, it's it's a lot different, and uh, you know my cancer is doing fine, so I'm I'm, I'm good. But uh, you know I have no regrets that I did what I had to do at the time. Uh, we're one week into the season. There were some really wild upsets over the weekend: uh, Colorado, TCU, Florida State, bombs LSU, Duke beats Clemson. You ever seen an opening week quite like this one? I've seen a few over the long years, over 25 years, 30 years, but but I this is this is right up there with the most, you know. You know, when you're coaching though, it's a little more eerie feeling yeah. <laughs> because you're sitting there, you know, gosh, that can't happen to us. Well, yeah, it can happen to us. So I think there's a great learning lessons that coaches, head coaches, will take into their team meeting on a Sunday night or on a Monday or Tuesday and, and talk about get your head right to be your best. And so there's great lessons learned, and I think if they do it the right way, it could be a plus for you. Tigers took care of business, as we kind of expected yep. they would against South Dakota. Uh, what your assessment of the game? Well, I, I think our defense played well. I think our offensive looks a more mobile. Um, quarterback situation, we're still coming together, but he, he did some good things. And, you know, just kind of see where it goes. He just the consistency of making plays and getting better. And, uh, you know, it, it, such great enthusiasm here, you know, for all the – all the Mizzou people in the state can see this. It's pretty good, but uh, we'll, we'll see where it goes. Just focus on the next game and play your best. Last thing I want to ask you about, since you've retired, you've established the GP Made Foundation. And tell folks who may not be familiar with, tell them all the things you, you're involved with that. Well, I did that just because, uh, you know, I just miss my players, you know, help my, 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 my players be better young men, not, not necessarily the football part of it. And so all of a sudden my wife says, you know, a few years ago, once you start a foundation, we started one. Kids that have physical challenges, uh, kids that come from real difficult backgrounds and the kids with cancer. So those are three areas that we go. And the big thing we do this for is we do this uh, so I can do something significant. You know, this is significant. And so it's been great. And we've really helped a lot of kids. And our scholarship program is exceptional. I think we have over 400,000 mo- monies we get out of year in scholarships. So, you know, get kids graduated so they can take care of their families and things like that. You're a legend on the field, and you're a legend in uh, community service. We appreciate it. If you'd like to donate to his foundation, go to gpmade.org. Hey, next week we will have uh, Mizzou color commentator, former Tiger All-American, Howard Richards will be our guest speaker at the flea market. Also, we'd like to shout out a happy 100th birthday to legendary Mizzou track coach Bob Teal. Coach, happy birthday. Hey, for more information on our events and membership, go to kctigerclub.com.